Hey everyone, welcome to Storytime of the BSM. My name is Adrienne and today we'll be reading Anna at the Art Museum, written by Hazel Hutchins and Gail Herbert and illustrated by Lil Krupp. Anna was not happy. Everything at the art gallery seemed old and boring. Anna would have to entertain herself. Roar, she said to the lion. Quiet, please, said the attendant. Peekaboo, she whispered to the baby. Careful, said the attendant. When Anna carefully lifted her foot onto something that looked like it was for children, the attendant shook his head no and pointed to the sign. So Anna and her mother had a talk. It was one they'd had earlier, but perhaps Anna had not listened quite as closely as she should have. No shouting, no running, no climbing, no touching. After that, Anna pretended she was a small bush in a forest of tall trees. One of the trees swayed to the side. There was something interesting beyond. Anna moved closer and closer. Anna didn't know paintings could have alarms. Everyone turned and stared. Anna quickly ran away. On the second floor, Anna found a window nook. While her mother looked at paintings, Anna gazed longingly out at the street and the harbor beyond. If only the museum could be turned inside out or the world outside in. In the next gallery, she pulled out her snack. But why was the attendant looking at her that way? Are you hungry? She asked. We can share. He was not hungry. No eating, he said with a firm voice. She could only drink at the water fountain in the hall. And then she saw the half open door. When a door is half open, it is very hard not to wonder what lies on the other side. Anna, cautioned her mother softly. No entry means we aren't allowed. But Anna began. Once again, the attendant was walking toward her. This time, however, he surprised her. It's not busy today. They might let you in. Would you like me to ask? It was like a secret workshop. Here, art was studied, prepared, and cleaned. As years of grime were removed, the face of a young girl slowly emerged. It was a bored face, a grumpy face. Anna knew that young girl. She hurried to thank the attendant. She's just like me, Anna told him, or I'm just like her, which made the attendant smile. And now something had changed. On the floor above, Anna danced patterns of her own. She felt colors swirl around her. But it had been a long afternoon. Even her mother was ready to go home. They took the fast way down, pausing only long enough for Anna to whisper to the lion, I'll be back. Then they pushed open the wide gallery doors and Anna skipped through, letting inside and out flow together. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's story time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.